What's up, Internet? We are here in the town yet again for another evening of running around doing Animal Crossing things. First of all, we gotta get rid of some mail, it seems. After that, who knows? We are wearing a nice green shirt. I like this shirt. Okay, let's go to the post office. Let's start by talking to everyone's favorite pelican, Phyllis. I wish I could get rid of more than one letter. That would be nice. I have more. I like this one. I have more. I like this one. Still got more, Phyllis. There we go. Nope, that's it. You have a good evening, Phyllis. I gotta go get my mail. Right after I clean this up. There we go. Let's go get our mail. Because once we have our mail, we can sell what's in the mail. And then we can, I don't know, fund our expedition to the moon or something. Actually, there are spaceships you can buy in this game, so, you know, maybe. Nothing new there. Okay, well, time to check the dump for free stuff. Like this. And some mystic paper. Cool. As long as it's not mystic quest paper. Although that said, it would have a tremendous soundtrack. I will always credit Mystic Quest for its soundtrack, if nothing else. Okay, Porter, summon us a train, please. Okay, the train's coming in. Good, we made it just in time. That's convenient. Although that happens more often than it doesn't. Although sometimes you do miss the train and then you gotta wait for a new train, which does actually suck, but it's pretty, pretty uncommon for that to happen. Goodbye, Porter. I shall see you later. Alright, let's get on the train. Let's pull out the station and see what the adventurous world around us has in store. Well, it's not the best start, seeing as we have to talk to Rover. But, you know, that happens sometimes. Whether we like it or not. Mostly not. Okay, Rover, just... Hurry on up, please. I'd like to go on an adventure, possibly try and get some rare items for Miggles today. But I can't do that if I'm waiting on a slow, smelly cat. It might have been. See ya, Rover. I won't miss you, but I'll have to talk to you again later. Truly a sad time. <coughs> me. Uh. But it is snowing, so that means some gyroids are in our near future. That's exciting. We might finally finish off our gyroid set. We only need three more. What else do we have around here? The suits in the dump over here once we clean this out. We have a cabana table. And a leaf umbrella. Well, that's all stuff we can sell. Make a couple extra bells. Hey, Mr. Nook. So let's see. This. And this. And also this. Let's see. We have a T-Rex tail. That's a good start. Paperweights. Ooh. We're gonna get something good for the last one? No! Two paperweights, but we did get it beat of a T-Rex. And I believe the T-Rex is actually worth the most out of all the fossils, so... You know, even a small bit of T-Rex is still more than no T-Rex. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that Tropical Vista, necessarily. Actually, I, I'm 
pretty okay with selling it. We'll do that. So that, 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 and that. I will take some of that paper, though. Not a ton of money, but, you know, it's a little bit of spending money, if we see something interesting. This is like the third day in a row, maybe fourth, where they've had this shelf on sale. I don't want it, although I don't think we've got this shirt in our collection yet. Uh, let's try it on. It's not as nice as our green shirt, granted, and it's no cool shirt, but for the ticket it might be worth owning. Alright, so well, there we go. And what the hell. We'll wear it. Even though it's not a particularly nice looking shirt, I don't think. It's one that we hadn't had before, and therefore, that at least makes it kind of striking. I mean, the fact that I looked at it and said, I haven't had that before, that at least means that, you know, we know we haven't seen it before, and thus it must be striking. I think we found that already, possibly. I know it's not a new notification, but I also know that our finding stuff in this town is a little bit spotty. So Peaches is not running an igloo today, that's worth noting. And she needs nothing from us, so that, uh, that happened. Again, at the very least, we're getting some gyroids in the future. So there is that. Doesn't look like there's any igloos around here, though. Oop, let's get rid of that. And we got rid of that. And here's Weber with his ugly pineapple shirt. Maybe he has something for us to do. Nope. Alright. Well, we can't let that get us down. Hey, an igloo! That works out well. Velma. I don't want either of those things, so no. Now the problem is that it would be random. That there's a 50-50 chance you'd get one of the items you want. And then the other is, of course, the other option. And the thing is, I don't want an apple clock or a backyard fence. Even if you did offer items I wanted, you know, I don't actually have a way to confirm that that's what I'll get. Okay, we gotta try. 50-50. Can I just say I want the bag with the dummy and be on my way? I will pay twice as much. Left. Oh. Damn it. You know, I'm willing to pay that, Velma. I just wanted to dummy. Well, a sleigh is an exclusive item, so I guess we'll try it. Alright, let's give it a go. Left again. Oh, I am awful at this. If you want this wall, why don't you trade me for a dummy? Or you pay over 3,000 bells for it, because that's what I paid for it, Velma, and I'm not terribly thrilled about that. Uh, well, let's try it. I'll pick the X. Uh, I don't like Velma. <laughs> You're mean. I mean, the nice thing about this, I guess, is ahead of time I know what the outcomes could be, but I don't have any direct control over how I get that outcome, and I don't like that. Either of those was a dummy, Velma, I don't care. 
And I'm fine with sitting here until I get one. But, I don't think that's terribly interesting. But at the same time, I really want that dummy. Fireplace? I already have one of those, so... And that's not what we're really here for. In fact, we have two fireplaces. Hey, a space shuttle. We could go to space. But that's not what we're here for. The nice thing is, at least initiating this statement seems to be kind of consistent, which is good. Problem is that there's no control over it on the back end, which sucks. I've got two items. And even if I see what I want, there's no guarantee I can get it. And I might have to pay for the privilege of it. Crab stew, that was the last item we needed. Last time, if I recall. But we don't need crab stew, and I don't like seafood. Unless I see something really, really interesting, I don't think I'll really play too much of this, but... I wanted to at least sit here for a while and try and get a dummy. I don't need a regal sofa or a green wall. Ranch bookcase and green wall. She really wants to get rid of that green wall, but that's not what we're here for. Soft horse and blue wall. Well, we're changing up the color of the wall now, but again, not really what I need. Hey, another fireplace. That's a good piece of furniture, but I don't need it. Garden stone? That would be useful for our Zen garden, but we already have all the stones for it, and we kind of got rid of most of them. I do appreciate how consistent this dialogue is, though. Means we don't have to sit around just sort of waiting for her to say, Hey, do you want to play a game? Train car model. I believe we have one of those. I think there's like three different train models. Plus a bunch of tracks and station models. An owl clock. That's a neat little piece of furniture, but we don't need it. What else do we got? Cow skull and brick wall. I don't need either of those, though. No. Bug sapper citrus wall. It's interesting to kind of see how variable the items she pulls out of the ethos are. No, I don't need either of those, Velma. I'm willing to sit here and wait until you mention another dummy. At least for a few minutes, and, and then I'll probably just give up and go home. Because really my quest was just to try and get a dummy today. And I mean, I've already lost money having failed to get the dummy. Sprinkler. Something you probably wouldn't want to buy in the middle of winter. It's probably cracked and broken because you don't use sprinklers in winter. That's just common sense. Baby bear and modern screen. I need neither of those things, Velma. I would think that the igloo exclusive items would have a higher chance of showing up than any other individual item, but probably not by a wide margin. A space heater. Probably a useful item considering how cold it is here, but no thank you. Lovely vanity. I don't think it's that lovely, and I don't appreciate vanity. 
Hey, Barbara's pulling a chic wall. Hmm. It seems like one of the options has a higher odds of being like a wallpaper. So like one is definitely going to be a piece of furniture and the other is going to be wallpaper. That's interesting. Lovely table. You know, when I read that, I thought she was just embellishing the table, not that that was the actual item. <laughs> a globe. I don't need a stone wall or a globe, though. Actually, I went to a store the other day that was just filled with globes for some weird reason. It was a weird store, too. It just had random stuff. And, like, just one, like, quarter of it was just filled with globes for no explicable reason. Hey, okay, there's another crab stew, but that's not the igloo item we need. And we already have one in our house. A perfect painting. Brag about it. Classic clock. Here's an old brick wall. These are those sound like terribly interesting items for me. Thank you. Van Palm Kitchy Wall. I've already been offered both of those things, and I said no then, I'm gonna say no now. A tiki torch. That could be interesting for, you know, this time of year, but no thank you. Globe and lattice wall. No thank you, Velma. A science table. A table where you do science, presumably. Or perhaps it's just a table that's extra science. Cubby hole. Actually, I don't think we have a cubby hole in our collection. But it's not what we're here for, and it's not something that's jumping out at me. Speed bag and an exquisite wall. Not exquisite enough for my taste. No, thank you. Jasmine bonsai. And once again, the old brick wall. An Emmy figure and a groovy wall. Why is a groovy wall? None of that is capitalized. <laughs> what the hell? It's a proper name. Some part of that should be capitalized. Same with JD Kano chair. Hmm. It's weird that they capitalize some items, but not all of them. I mean, they are names of objects. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be like the dummy, where it's got a dummied out name and it's all caps or anything, but... It's just kind of weird. It's in proper punctuation. Capitalization, that's the word I'm looking for. No thanks, Velma. An eye clock or a green wall? I want either of those things. No thank you. An Emmy figure and a plaster wall. Now that one's got a capitalized letter, but that's also because that's a name. But everything else is a name in the sense that it's an object. A chess table. I don't think we have a chess table in our collection either, but again, it's not really what we're looking for today. Cabin bed, modern screen. It really sucks that the first time we did this, we got offered the item we wanted and we whiffed the challenge. That said, I don't think it's a 50 50 thing, necessarily. Or at the very least, I don't think it's decided when you select. I think it's decided after the fact. Which means that regardless of what you choose, you're kind of at a disadvantage. Alright, we'll give it one more. 
chalkboard in the lattice wall. No thanks, Felby. You have been a massive disappointment today. You've already taken my money. You didn't give me the thing I wanted. I'm just gonna leave. I will wait till Peaches comes back. She at least gave me multiple items. Eh. Snowballs make the weirdest sound when they break. They go... Like, it sounds weirdly metallic. Well. I'm depressed now. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home, I guess. We just spent like 15 minutes trying to get a specific item from the good old igloo and getting nothing out of it. I think that is a sign to call it quits. <laughs> Come on, Porter. Oh, we didn't miss the train. That's the important thing. Because you can do that, and it's kind of a horrible waste of time if you do. Okie doke. So. I will enjoy the ride. I'd enjoy it more if I didn't have to talk to Rover. Kind of makes me wonder if that's Rover, like, giving that radio announcement. It sounds like he's on the phone, kind of like when he calls Tom Nook, though. But at the same time, the radio announcement stops when he leaves, which, granted, could be a huge coincidence, but at the same time, I don't think so. But at the same time, I don't think he works the railway, so he shouldn't be making those announcements. One would think that would be the conductor. I don't know, Rover's just a weird character. We got this shirt, that's what we accomplished today. And if we consider this a task in trying to get new clothes, it was in some description a success. Let's just not think about it as a quest where I was trying to acquire the one specific item I wanted and lost horribly. Let's, let's not focus on that. Anyway, this'll be it for today. Sorry this one was a little bit short, but uh, yeah, a little bit dejected having failed that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, plus Mario Maker during the day and other stuff when I have the time. You also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a ton of stuff, and a uh, ton of stuff coming up in the future as well. I, I've got plans. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon, support the show any way you can, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is let the one object I want fall out of my grasp. Grasping defeat from the jaws of victory. Thanks a lot, Velma. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bitter. But, uh, you know, there's always tomorrow and we're going to have more fun. Plus, we got a new stylish shirt, so there is that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Peace out, internet.